Hello everyone, in this video we will learn in order and post order traversal. So let's start with in order traversal. Suppose this is the binary search tree given to us and we have to perform in order traversal. So firstly in order traversal is a depth first traversal and in this method we follow the rule left node right that is from the current node we move left until we reach a node which does not have a left child and we cannot move further left then we print the value of that node that is we traverse it and then we move in the right direction so let's actually do this to understand it as always we start with our root node that is 8 and now we have to move in the left direction according to our rule so we move to node 3 and now again looking at the rule for this node we have to move left so we move to the node 1 and now for this node as we can't go left as it does not have a left child so our next step according to the rule is we will print the value of this node which is 1 and we will mark it as traversed so we will strike it off and now according to our rule we need to move in the right direction but as this node does not have a right child so we will move a node up that is we will move to node 3 now again looking at the rule for this node Firstly, we have to move left. Now, as we have already traversed the left part of this node. So next, we have to print the value of this node. So we print 3 and we mark this node as traversed. And now, according to our rule, we have to move in the right direction. So we move to node 6. And now, again, looking at the rule for this node, we have to move in the left direction. So we move to node 4. And now as this node does not have a left child, so we will print its value that is 4. We will mark it as traversed. And now as it does not have a right child, so we will move a node up that is to the node 6. And now we will again look at our rule which says we have to move left first but as we have already traversed the left. So now we have to print the value of the node that is 6 and now we can mark it as traversed and next we have to move in the right direction so we move to the node 7 and again for this node as we don't have a left child so we print its value that is 7 and we strike it off now this node does not have a right child so we have to move a node up but as we can see we have already traversed node 6 and node 3 in both the direction so we can directly move up to node 8 and now for this node according to our rule we had to go left but we have already traversed all the nodes to its left so next we have to print its value so we print 8 and we mark this node as traversed and now according to our rule we move in the right direction that is to node 10 now again for this node there is no left child so we have to print its value which is 10 and we will mark this node as traversed by striking it off and again we will move in the right direction to node 14 and for this node we will again look at our rule which says we need to go left so we go to the node 13 and as this node does not have a left child we print its value which is 13 we strike it off to mark it as traversed and it does not have a right child so we have to move a node up so we move to node 14 and as we have already traversed all the nodes to its left, we will print its value which is 14 and we are done with our in order traversal. Now if we observe carefully, we will see that in order traversal for a binary search tree always gives us the value of the nodes in ascending order, that is in the sorted form. Now let's look at post order traversal using the same example. As we know post order traversal is a depth first traversal for this method we follow the rule left right node that is for the current node we move in left direction until we cannot go further left then we go in the right direction until we cannot go further right and finally we print the value of the node. So let's start with our example we start with our root node and according to the rule we move in the left direction to node 3. And for this node we again move in the left direction that is to node 1 and now for this node as we can't go left as it does not have a left child 
So according to our rule, we have to move in the right direction, but it does not have a right child as well. So next we have to print the value of the node that is one and we can mark it as traversed. And now we will move a node up that is to node three. And now for this node, according to our rule, we have to go left, but we have already traversed its left. So we will move in the right direction according to our rule to node six. And now for this node, according to our rule, we have to move in the left direction first. So we move to node four. And now again for this node, we cannot go in the left direction and we cannot go in the right direction. So we print the value of this node, which is four and we cross it to mark it as traversed and we move a node up to node six. Now again, looking at the rule, we have already traversed its left. So next we have to go in the right direction. So we move to node seven and now for this node, we cannot go left and we can't go right as it does not have a left and a right child. So we print its value that is seven and we strike it off to mark it as traversed. And now we again move a node up. Now again, looking at the rule, we cannot go left as we have already traversed it and we cannot go right as we have already traversed the right as well. So we print the value of this node, which is six and we mark it as traversed and we again move a node up to node three. Now again for this node, we have already traversed the left and we have already traversed all node to its right. So we will print the value of this node, which is three and we can also mark it as traversed. So now we have to move a node up to node eight and according to our rule, we have to go left, but we have already traversed all the nodes to its left. So next we have to go in the right direction. So we move to node 10. Now again for this node, firstly we have to go left, but as there are no nodes to its left. So next we have to go right. So we move on to node 14. Now again, looking at the rule for this node, we have to first go left. So we move on to node 13. And as this node does not have a left or a right child, we can directly print its value that is 13 and we can mark it as traversed. And now we have to move a node up that is to node 14. Now again, for this node, we cannot move left and we cannot move right. So we print its value that is 14 and we mark it as traversed and we again move a node up to node 10. Now again, we don't have a left child and we have already traversed all the nodes to its right. So we print its value that is 10 and we cross it to mark it as traversed and we again move a node up that is to node eight. And as we have already traversed all the nodes to its left and all the nodes to its right. So now we can print its value that is eight and we are done with our post order traversal. This was all for this video. Thank you for watching.